Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do something that's really just absolutely ridiculous, uh, do something that's really absurd. And that is, if you watch the other video clip, the one where we ran the air compressor and the vacuum cleaner together, you saw that that, KV, that 15 kVA transformer sitting there in the corner, that transformer started the invincible vacuum cleaner, started it right up 10 horse, and I've been told by rotary converter manufacturers that this vacuum cleaner would be very hard to start appliance. So you would need at least a 20 horse rotary to start that and run it. Uh, possibly a 30 horse rotary. Then on that other video clip, we started the vacuum cleaner. Then we went outside, we started a 5 horsepower air compressor with 120 pounds in the tank. Then we ran the air compressor and uh, turned the vacuum cleaner off. Then you saw that we actually restarted the vacuum cleaner with the air compressor running, all from this little 15 kVA transformer. That is showing you how much power is involved in these transformers. There's a tremendous amount of power and the soft start capability. We did all that. We started the air compressor and we had the air compressor running and we started the vacuum cleaner with the air compressor running on a 60 amp breaker. This is 60, 60 amps in there. And uh, that's the capability that these transformers have. Now, we're, today, we're going to be talking about the, a ridiculous thing in that we're going to run the quarter horse water pump from the transformer. Now, that seems absurd. I mean, anybody that knows anything about rotary converters would say if you have a 20 horse rotary converter, you're not going to run a quarter horse water pump from a rotary converter simply because you just waste tremendous amounts of electricity. It would be very foolish. So to demonstrate this, I set this up. Now we're going to turn the juice on, watch the amp meter here. And like I said, if you're running multiple motors, when you're running multiple motors, you turn on the transformer. This transformer would be mounted at your power panel somewhere and you would run the three wires from the transformer out and each workstation would have its own capacitors. As we saw, the vacuum cleaner it has its own little capacitors and starts stuff. The water pump, I put the, threw this together quickly, it's got the three, we, I balanced it out a little bit with the three capacitors, the start capacitor and, and everything. So now we're looking at the transformer idling. It's 1.4 amps at idle. So let's turn on, let's turn on the water pump. And uh, let me give the camera to my son here. Okay, focus on that amp meter there, Christopher. And we'll see what happens when we start the water pump. Okay, we are drawing. 2.5 amps running the water pump. It's a quarter horse water pump. Get out your Granger's catalog and look through and see how much a quarter horse single phase motor would draw. It draws anywhere between 2 and 2.6 amps is listed in the catalog for depending on the efficiency of the motor. Here we are, we're drawing 2.5 amps to run the water pump. Now you tell me if you had a 20 horse rotary converter sized big enough to start the vacuum cleaner and then you ran this little quarter horse motor would it draw 2.5 amps would that be how much money how much elect money yeah that's right <laughs> I slipped there how much money in electricity would you be wasting to run the quarter horse motor so if you had if you had a quarter horse motor in your shop that you had to run every hour that you're there in your shop you could hook this 15 kVA transformer up you could run the motor, you're not wasting any electricity. You're, at the most, you're wasting five tenths of an amp, half an amp of electricity here, running that quarter horse motor. You could then start your vacuum cleaner, you could run your drill presses, your air compressors, and everything else off of that transformer. And each workstation, again, would have a capacitor, the start switch, and the other things.